What's up everybody? Let me close my door real quick. What's up everybody? Welcome to Monster Energy Supercross 3. Today we're going to be making Ryan Dungey. That don't look like Ryan Dungey though, so we're going to fix that a little bit here. Let me... Alright. My man Dunge is here from Minnesota. I don't know what the Minnesota flag is. I've been to... Oh, yeah, that's it right there. So Minnesota... Um, he's in the Alpine Stars Kawasaki gear because that's how I have it set. Today we're going to be making Ryan Dungey and put him in a race height. I looked this up. Dungey is 5'10 in real life, so he's not some tall guy. Um, there's nowhere where I can put his weight. Is there? No, okay. Appearance. Obviously, this is not what Dungey looks like. So I actually went through and picked and found that this one, if we take away everything, uh, this one looks a lot like Dungey. Obviously, Dungey doesn't have blue hair or a mustache. So we're obviously going to take that out. But the man has brown eyes. I've actually stood next to Dungey, got to meet him at Millville this year, um, 2022. Nice guy, really cool guy. Um, I, I enjoyed my time with them we had a really uh, we got some really good conversation now what color hair does Dungey have I feel like it's this right here yeah and obviously we're gonna take these face tattoos off that actually kind of looks like Dunge like y'all could roast me in the comments um, yeah so I have the money on my face we're gonna take that off throat tattoo I have a okay what neck I have a neck that's right I have a shark on my neck we're gonna take that off I've already set everything up um, so yeah let's go get let's go get some bike and so it's let's well I guess pre-suits won't matter I'm gonna go 450 we're gonna go down to the haunt the KTM or if you guys want me to I will race Dunge in a different brand this is actually gonna be wrong right here so obviously Dungey does not wear Thor but because I want to put him on the Red Bull KTM we're gonna have to go with the Thor gear um, I'm trying to think Dungey wears bell helmets so we're gonna try to find a bell helmet that fits no, no. That one kind of does. We are also going to be racing at Glendale uh, in this game. I kind of like this helmet, but it really doesn't fit. This orange one fits the best. Or this white one. No, we're going to go this black one. Or how's this fit? No, I don't. I kind of like this orange one. Or how about this right here? No, we're going to go with this black. Alright, Dungey obviously wears fox goggles and all that. Uh, where's the fox section? Here it is. Fox goggles. Kind of have to match here with Dungey's vibe. Those are actually really sick. Um, kind of have to match with Dungey vibe, Dungey's vibe, but I kind of like these pink ones. But I like the pink lens ones better. You see here, I'm, I'm really trying to make this look like Dunge. I kind of like these right here. Yeah, we're gonna go with these. I don't, I don't care about uh, earning my credits here. Let me make sure the back of them looks fine. Yeah, that looks just fine. Um, boots wise, he wears fox. I'm gonna put on some nice orange fox boots. That even though that doesn't match, put on some nice white fox boots right there. There we go. Uh, Dungey's not a pussy, so he doesn't wear that. He doesn't wear neck braces. So let me put. Let me see. We're gonna put a daddy butt patch on Dungey. 
As you can tell, I'm not taking this very seriously. Uh, actually, let me fix the number plate, because that looks goddamn awful. Mm. Bike graphics. Let me center that bitch. Sorry. Nope. We didn't save it. Sorry for my language, by the way. Center this thing. Blow it up. Confirm. Alright, let me fix this. Right there. If you guys want, I will do a championship with Dunge. I'll probably do it on my off time, but if you guys want to see it in the video, I will definitely do it. That looks good right there. I keep... no. Nope. Copy to the left, confirm, okay. Let me make sure this bike looks beautiful here. Looking great. Dungey's Red Bull KTM looking fire, even though this is not looking fire. Damn, that does not look fire at all. Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to deal with that. Anyway, let's go. Let's go put Dunge into a race here. We're going to go Glendale 2019 here for Dunge's first race back here on the Red Bull KTM. Let me sit down for this. Um, here we go. If this video does well enough, I will take this character into, into a... Um, a multiplayer race because I know no people really do enjoy this game so I will do that if y'all want to see that anyway official official preset obviously Dungey is not going to be racing a KTM not going to be racing a Husky no 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 how about factory racing Yamaha no 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 maybe one day homie Dungey is going to be racing the Red Bull KTM Ryan Dungey comes back to Supercross. I know there was some rumors about Dungey possibly race. I should have done Oakland. Anyway, uh, I know there was some rumors about Dungey coming back in 2023 for Supercross. Well, let me take a drink of my sugary coffee. I know there was a rumor of Dungey coming back for 2023 Supercross. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Um, because Marvin Moose can't got the ride. But Marvin Muscan's contract, um, 2023 contract, was held up by Dunge. So, anyway, that that's 2022. We're going back to 2019 here, Glendale State Farm Stadium. I was at this race in real life. That stadium is massive. Here we go, Dungey. Look at that crowd. They love Ryan Dungey being back. Can Ryan Dungey go to the top step of the podium, though? Look at that guy. He's back. <laughs> I know that doesn't look like Dungey at all, but in my mind, it does. Get ready. Here we go. Ryan Dungey returns to Monster Energy Supercross. Let's go racing. Oh, and his starts are still on point. Can he grab that whole shot? Ryan Dungey. Comes back to Supercross and grabs the Monster Energy hole shot. That's not what it's called. That's what it's. I'm calling it. Here we go. Ryan Dungey back to racing. Battling with his teammate Marvin Muscan. His teammate of a long time. These two are actually friends in real life. Down goes Tim Ferry. Here comes the Dunge. Battling with Grant Langston. I don't know what kind of rhythm that was right there. Dunge coming back to the inside. Here he comes. To the inside of Langston. Oh, Marvin getting into the mix here. Man, Dunge's return to Supercross racing here. Starting off really well. Let's see how his whoop speed is. Five years after. Oh, I love that butt patch there. Oh, these guys not being nice to him, though. Man, we're getting brutalized here. 
and we're and it's only the first lap. There's Rick Johnson also with the number five. Yo, Dungey, a little bit sideways there. Yo, I need to calm down here. I know I'm returning Dungey here to racing. Somebody, somebody requested I do Marvin Moosecan in Supercross 4. That video is coming. Uh, I will do that one, but uh, I, I thought this would be a really fun one too. Um, so yeah, Dungey here in the mix once again like he was in 17 and 22 outdoors. Oh boy. Dungey on the number five inside of the eight of Grant Langston. He's going for the lead. Man, Dungey's doing really good here in his return. That rhythm section is chaos for everybody. Oh, being aggressive like he should have been in his career. Riding on the damn tough blocks. I don't know how I didn't crash there. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Dungey to the lead. Dungey to the lead in his return to racing. Unbelievable. You know, tickets sold out fast here for this one. Once everybody found out Dungey was coming back to race, tickets sold out very fast. Oh, down is Dungey. Dungey's down. Vince Freezy to the lead. And that's not a good thing for these guys because you know how Vince races. Oh, Marvin's not going to waste any time. Marvin's not wasting any time at all. The number five of Dungey ain't wasting any time. Dungey to the lead. Dungey to the lead. Man, I have to say this Dungey model came out extremely well. Oh. I don't know what my celebration here in this game is. I don't know if I want to know. It's probably something really stupid that Dungey would not do. I didn't even care to look at that. Maybe I should have. But here we go. Baggett, who won this race in real life, in the mix as well. Dungey. Oh! Dungey gets absolutely slaughtered there by Savachi. Hangs on to it. Man, this is some really entertaining racing here. I have to say. Here we go. Baggett. Oh, Baggett keeps that lead, but Dungey's into second. Alright, y'all are going to hear my commentary for the rest of this. I think it'll be nice. I used to do commentary videos back in the video, back in the day, but they just got really annoying. But I've gotten better at it. Oh, Dungey's back to fourth. Dungey's back to fourth. Baggett's out in the lead here. Oh, he can't do what Malcolm did. Okay, why does that look like a six on the back of his jersey? Is it just me, or does that look like a six? Riding through the pack here. Just trying to make something happen is the number five of Ryan Dun... Oh, he just tried to quad. He just tried to quad in that corner. Baggett is disappearing on these guys. Oh, Dungy, not able to get that rhythm correctly, not able, oh, wow, that really screwed him there. Dungy's back to six, he gets pushed back to six, just like that. Dungy's not really known for comebacks in his career. <laughs> oh, there's Tomac, they battling in 17. Oh, through the whoops. Dungey getting all out of shape through the whoops there. Oh, what's going on with the five? The five has issues. The five has problems.
Oh, the five of Dungy and the three of Tomac going after it. Here, this is for six. Triple single into the corner. Dunge. The Dunge is right there. <clears throat> Man, we are going for it here. Kind of like Redbud. Remember Redbud in the second moto this year? Uh, Dungy was just absolutely going for it. He went. He almost jumped off the track in the, I don't know what jump that would be called. And then he went through the rollers just fine. And off T1, I believe that jump is called. Uh, he shot, like, from left to right and got so sideways. And then, like, went after Anderson there off of Lockrow's Leap and jumped Lockrow's Leap. I, I remember that. Um, that was sketchy. Dungy, Dungy at the beginning of the season, like, the more the season went on, like, he, he became, like, more crazy. It, it's kind of crazy to say, but that's what happened there. Like I said, Matt Dungy at Millville, really cool guy. Really humble, dude. Um, yeah, anyway. We're starting to catch back up. Dunge is starting to catch back up to the front. I was at Paula, too. Actually, both Paulas this year. Um, I had to go to Paul 1 because, you know. Oh, we just took the lead. What? Dungy takes the lead. Down goes Marvin Moosecan. Blake Baggett now. He's going to he's gonna challenge Dungy. Where did that come from from Dunge? We've been asking Dungy to be aggressive his whole career. And he finally does it on his teammate. But now he's got the four of Blake Baggett all over him. The four and the five going at it. Oh. Oh, what happened to Eli? Eli dropped back to 13. Remember, we were battling for sixth with him. And now Marvin's going to drop back here. Here we go. It's going to be the four and the five here. Dungy and Baggett going at it. Dungy on the five, Baggett on the four. They kind of gapped Langston here. Can you imagine if Dungy just won this race right here? If if me, playing as Ryan Dungy, had won this race, this video would get a million views. Like, it, it really would. Oh! Down the big straight. Dungy here riding so fluidly still 10 minutes to go here in this race Watch till the end here to see if Ryan Dungy could pull this off Bag it keeping him honest though Look at the gap they have over Grant Langston right now. That is crazy Through here this is kind of like real life here bag it Hounding the leader in real life, it was Jason Anderson. In this game, it's Ryan Dungy of all people. Dungy with a great line there through that section. I, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. I don't know. But Dungy doing a really good job here of holding these guys off. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Dungy's down. Dungy is down. What happened? He had a good lead going, and then Ryan Dungy crashed. What happened there? Man, it's like he had hit an invisible wall or something. I don't know what happened there. Oh, Dungy's really struggling now. Baggett's back in the lead. All right, we got to get it together here. We got to not make those mistakes did I set his number for six no his number is five why does it look like a six on the back I don't know maybe it's just a shade of blue I chose I don't know here we go catch him back up to the four here comes done he's caught back up to the four here he is right here the number five back into the lead Bag it right there. There he goes. Bag it. Oh, 
Can't quite get him there. Eight minutes to go here. Dungy back into the lead and starting to pull away from the four of Baggett. Dungy not doing anything special here. He's just riding as good as he can. Grant Langston all over the back of Blake Baggett now. So Baggett's really falling apart here. Oh, Baggett's over the berm. Baggett goes over the berm and now Grant Langston in the second how about this Dungy leading Grant Langston second man how about this top five though I mean, back in the day this would be nothing nothing here for Dun this wouldn't even be a shock to see Dungy out front but in these days with Dungy being off so long this is kind of a shock you would have thought he would have been maybe a top five here with this group. Everybody that could have beat him is having issues right now. Yeah, the guys like Jason Anderson, Cooper Webb, Marvin Muscan. Muscan was up there early. Tomac was up there early. But they've had their issues here. It's allowed Dungy to have the lead here. Dungy just riding so smooth here. Langston and Baggett still in a battle. Baggett back into that second spot now. Dungy though with the lead look at this from the five just riding smooth riding smart riding consistent like Dungy does remember he won Phoenix in 2010 and 2012 back at the old stadium Chase Field see if he can do it here oh Dunge almost going over there Man, look at us just pulling away here from the field. Wow. We have a three-second lead. That's what Dungy would do. Um, the new people of the sport, like, you might have... You might have been like, why was everybody so hyped to see Dungy come back? Like, who is that? Ryan Dungy is... He he was a legend for his time. Like, he was a good rider for his time. He wasn't the fastest, but his championships would say otherwise. 15 and 16, Dungy was the fastest guy. 17, though. Uh, and even 2010, Dungy was not the fastest guy. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that. Dungy was not the fastest guy. Uh, obviously, 11, 12, 13, 14, Villapoto did what he did. Oh, boy. Hey. Hey, I just realized um, we're going to be able to make Ryan Villapoto this year uh, in the new Supercross game because um, Cooper Webb was not number two this year. He was number one. So, yeah, that'll be nice to make Coo uh I will definitely have that video coming out. Ryan Villapoto in Supercross 6. I made one for 4. Right now, Supercross 4 is the only game we can make Ryan Villapoto in. Not anymore. Dungy, we can make him in every single game. That has factory teams, which is a lot of them. Trey Kennard, if you want to be authentic with it, you can only really make him in 4. I'm trying to think. Uh, unless you want to put them on the Muckoff Honda team for 2021. I, I'm just I'm just thinking of videos on the fly here. 
Uh, I know I have Marvin Moose Scan on Red Bull KT on in Supercross 4. On the pallet, I have I have Trey Kennard in Supercross 4 coming up. Um, I have our preview show coming. I just have a lot of videos coming up. So if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications if you like me enough to do it. So because I would greatly appreciate that. Um, Deadshot, thank you for all the support. Thank you for the comments too. Like YouTube, it works. It works. Like just keep keep watching my videos, and I'll keep producing. And that's what I'll say. Facebook does help these videos quite a bit. That's all I'll say here. Other than that, news in the industry of motocross so far. Um, news in the industry so far of motocross. I want to talk about it. Christian Janik, I believe the kid is, and Julian Bomber um, had a gnarly wreck at Minio's. Thankfully, they're both okay. Uh, that was one of the wildest crashes I've ever seen. If you don't know, if you don't know what happened, Julian Bomber, I think was going. For, I think it was a pass for the lead or something. Um, was going after Christian Janik on the Kawasaki. Uh, looked like Janik is actually Team Green. Um, what ended up happening was Bomber tried to go around the outside, and it was weird. Like they they made contact. And then Janik, it looked like his bike got sucked up into the uh, rear wheel area, like between the chain and the sprocket, the chain and where the exhaust, looks like Janik's bike got sucked up into that, and Janik went f flying, absolutely flying, so that was wild to see, um, thankfully they're both okay. Yeah, other than that, I I watched Minios a ton last year. I'm not watching it this year. I don't know what my deal is. Uh, I'm not even watching any of the most. I watched a lot of Loretta, Loretta but I'm just I know um, Daxton Bennett and <coughs> Deegan, excuse me, Deegan took home some titles. Other than that, that's really all I know. And then this crash right here, that's really all I know. Um, but yeah, that crash was a big one. I'm glad they're both okay. Um, other than that, other news come out. Um, I think I should have expected this, but it surprised me. Uh, Tom Vial is working with Alden Baker, which I don't know why that shocked me, um, but it did. Uh, and apparently there is a video out there of behind the scenes of the Baker factory. I didn't watch it. Maybe I will eventually. Well, holy mackerel, Ryan Dungey has a 10-second lead right now. Did you ever expect that? Uh, other news to come out. I don't know. I really can't think of anything. Like I said, Minio, the Super Duper Motocross has a YouTube, not YouTube, I'm sorry, Instagram page now. Um, which, it's gaining followers. I'm following it. I'm following its traction here. Yeah, other than that, not much to come out um, so far. But here we go. White flag coming out for Ryan Dungey. There it is. White flag. One more lap before Ryan Dungey gets a surprise win here. Celebrating over the triple with some style. Even though you can't see it, I can. Ryan Dungey comes back to Monster Energy Supercross is about to win by over 10 seconds mechanic pumping him up Ryan Dungey tries to quad on he doesn't care here we go big style over the finish oh there's that invisible wall again anyway big style over the big triple down the straight Willie and oh Man, but he doesn't care. He's still going to win this here. Number five, Ryan Dungey comes through this rhythm section here. He's got a 15-second gap over the four of Baggett. Takes that corner low right there. 
He can see Baggett right there. Here we go, final corner. The number five, the Red Bull KTM Ryan Dungey wins here in Glendale. He's done it. He has came back to win here in 2019. Look at those wow! Wow! Ryan Dungey goes four sec, almost four seconds faster in that race. That was crazy. That was wild. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Sorry if I am annoying. I really do apologize. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, my Marvin Moose Cam video might come out later. It's rare that I do two videos in a day, but this one I wanted to do because this one is fun, and it was fun. That was a really good race there, but we pulled away. We won it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.